18 and 20 guys into this lineup, keeping fresh bodies going. That's an unbalanced line, and they run in that direction with Pede. And ball came out, but looks like he went. Pressure coming from the edges. Kalaros is knocked down and almost lost. All right, here he is right here, and he's going to come late and on this blitz and time it up nicely. And you say, look, nobody picks him up. You see the, the tackle. Eric Rushers in the Big East. And the Big East Offensive Player of the Year gets the football again. Breaking through some arm tackles, plays off another block. He has another first down before he's pushed up, up, up the field. And, and they lose the football. Vanderbilt comes away with it with Hayward at the 25, down to the 21-yard line. Casey Hayward, second team All-SEC performer. Big play by the Vanderbilt defense. This is what they've been able to do throughout the season. Force turnovers. Early in the year, they were able to do it extremely well. Now they're doing it here again at the end of the season. Sixth interception of the year for Casey Hayward. Or excuse me, he just warded off right here. You see his body, and he just doesn't. He's not physical enough. He doesn't carry that inside enough to make sure Hayward has no shot at this thing. Tompkins is all year, and then they bumped it up to 9-3 and three this season. Kalaros hangs on to it, tries to get away. He does, and gets it off to the 21-yard line, 25, and again, the tight end. It robs off. Here he is, and watch him. He's just going to run up the field, and you got to break down. you got to be able to stop your feet and center up that quarterback and wrap it. Yeah. Kalaros hangs in, throws way high. Before. Over Tompkins. Here, here they are, one-on-one. -on -one. You see the matchup. Hayward, good inside position. Got a little physical there, and I could see where Butch Jones. He was told not to expect to play any more football, but he rehabbed fiercely to get back just for this one game. And down the field goes George Wynn. Wynn down in the clear. The 30-25 win. Gets a block downfield, and he'll go. And also, who may see some time in the running back position, at the quarterback position, but primarily as a runner. Kalaros. That is incomplete. They will hang AC and the Sunshine Band. And there's Kalaros keeping it. And and a little bit. Yeah. But watch, tell me if you think that kid's 100% running the football. Actually, you know what? Didn't look as bad. Uh, they fake to pee. Kalaros in trouble. Throws it. And might have thrown that. With one second left on the play clock, Kalaros drops the ball, and he's going to have to eat it at the 24-yard. Have to trot out the field goal team and Tony Miliano. Well, let's watch the coverage down the field. Freeze it right there, fellas. You got coverage here, here, up top, here as well. This guy's running into somebody there. There's nowhere to go with that football. See faithful, but once again, miserable Bearcat field position. Pete ran into his own man, but that was because of the effort by the Vanderbilt defense. Trying to make he almost got loose. Kalaros has room to run. He'll throw instead, and it is caught by Kelsey. Wow! Kenny Cincinnati drive. Look out. Third and ten. Oh, and Hayward's playing a cover two there, so he's got the flat. He sits in the flat, and then he times this thing up, and uh, that's a vicious blow right there, and right in the bread money joke. But uh, oh, they, uh, <laughs> they, they, they use it a lot, teasing each other. Kalaros down the field toward the end zone. Is it good? Foot in as he's making this grab. Let's take another look at it, see if we can see here. Yeah, I think that toe hit the ground. But but, yeah, he never ended up with the football. That's the problem. You're right about the toe. I but agree right completely. There, bam, that toe's in, but he just didn't fit. Pressure from the edge. Kalaros hangs in. One on one coverage. Underthrown and intercepted. Second pick today for Casey. A bit on that right ankle. Here's the route. You're going to see it. It's a little stutter and go, but the ball is so badly underthrown, the, the receiver never really had a chance. Incredible explosiveness. I, I see him as uh, somebody uh, getting a steal in the draft with him coming up next day. going to give it to their big man, but that time people... And they fake it to him. Kalaros underneath the Kelly.